Hundreds of people here in South Florida and across the country are sharing their support for a South Florida woman whose rough arrest made headlines after she called police for help because of her aggressive neighbor. Local 10's Glenna Milberg is live with more on this. Glenna. And it was on cell phone, Louie, and that is why it went viral. And now, literally, national attention is focused on this case. And today we learned that the Miami-Dade officer involved in all this has been told by prosecutors their decision whether to charge him criminally is coming next week. We know that the state's attorney, Cancer Fernandez, can really step in and hold these police officers accountable for what they've done. Seven people, four boxes, and on the papers inside, <laughs> countless comments like outrageous injustice. Officer Geraldo's actions were racist, they were inexcusable, and he cannot be trusted to protect and serve the Miami-Dade community, which is why we are here today. Please stop. She didn't even stop. do nothing. This is Miami-Dade Officer Geraldo. Why are you doing on cell phone and body cam, wrestling Miami-Dade resident Diamond Loving into a rest on the street near her home last month. Only it was Loving who had called for their help, she said, for a threatening racist neighbor. Why do I have to be corrected when my life was just threatened? That's the neighbor, Frank Tum. In fact, police did arrest him 10 days later for aggravated assault against Loving. You called the police for help, and what we know is that police officers in situations like that often are not the ones that are doing what they have been sworn to do, and that's serve to protect. Even before the civil rights groups petitioned the Miami-Dade state attorney to criminally charge Officer Geraldo, the decision whether to do so was well underway here. Prosecutors have reviewed the cell video and body cam video from all officers there that day, and they've interviewed witnesses, including Dima Loving. Things have to change, and you can't change it if you just let things go. Ms. Loving has already filed a civil rights lawsuit in this case. Officer Geraldo has been relieved of duty as the case progresses since last month. And of course, as we said, next week he finds out whether he will face criminal charges for what happened that day. We have a lot on social media, particularly on Twitter. I invite you to follow me at Glenna WPLG. You'll see some more interviews, facts about the case, a little bit of history. It's all right there for you. I'm Glenna Milberg, live in Miami today, Local 10 News. A lot of people following what happens next. All right, thank you, Glenna.